Julia Wainwright took this stunning action shot of bald eagles in Alaska. Recounting the moment she took the shot, she said, Heavy snow fell one night during my visit to the city of Homer. As I lay in the snow to capture shots of bald eagles, two began squabbling, sending the fresh white powder flying. This image is a finalist in the nature category. Winners will be announced on February 26. Claire Waring took this atmospheric image of a polar bear while traveling around Rangel Island in Russia. Describing the area she said, the buildings at Doubtful Harbor are decaying slowly. The rangers who work here are tasked with protecting the wildlife in this federally protected nature sanctuary. This image is a finalist in the portfolio category. This close up shot of a gorilla was taken by Daniel Burton on the slopes of Mount Makeno in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He explained, some of the world's last mountain gorillas live on the slopes of Mount McKenna. This is a female from the Humba family, a habituated group that lives near Virunga's Bukema station. This image is a finalist in the nature category. This close up shot of a polar bear navigating the ice was taken by Claire Waring on the frozen shores around Rangel Island in Russia. This image is a finalist in the portfolio category. The overall winner will be sent on a photographic commission for National Geographic Traveler. Sharon Kynaston said of this photo taken in Kyoto, Japan, this 17-year-old girl has been training to become a geisha for the past two years. Until she qualifies, she wears half-painted lips, signaling to her clientele that she's still learning. This image is a finalist in the people category. Viewers get a peek inside one of the ranger cottages on Rangel Island in the Arctic Ocean, courtesy of this image by Claire Waring. The room appears to be simply furnished, with a map of the island on the wall and a pair of binoculars for spotting wildlife. This image is a finalist in the portfolio category. Simon Irwin said of this photo taken in the Sichuan province of China, locals come to the tea house to smoke, gossip, have their fortunes told, and watch war movies on the TV. This image is a finalist in the portfolio category. Pablo Borrego took this colorful image while perusing the stalls around Candy Central Market in Sri Lanka. Describing the scene, the photographer said, Everything in a busy market feels magnified. All your senses are pushed to the limit, presenting an abundance of photographic opportunities. This image is a finalist in the food category. Alex Palmer said of this shot showing the daunting face of El Capitan in Yosemite, California, I took this image on a day off from climbing in Yosemite Valley. Yeah. 
I spotted two climbers approaching El Cap Tower It looked like they were lost in a sea of granite This image is a finalist in the nature category Robert Huberman scaled the luxury Marina Bay Sands Hotel in Singapore to take this image of its famed infinity pool. The photographer said of the sky high bathing spot, it's an amazing place, offering breathtaking views of downtown, with people frolicking in the infinity pool in the foreground. This image is a finalist in the city's category. Simon Irwin took this photo of Kim Jiwon Zhu, a traditional medicine practitioner in his doctor's surgery in the town of Pengzin. Irwin explains Kim Jiwon, 78, began studying traditional medicine at the age of eight under the tutelage of Master Liu, one of the physicians to Chiang Kai-shek, the former Chinese leader who was ousted by the communists and forced to flee to Taiwan. This image is a finalist in the portfolio category. Marco and Fossi took this photo while walking around a town of Leh in the Latic region of India. He said of the shot, I was walking through the streets of Leh town in the Indian region of Latic when I saw two workers at this bakery churning out bread from an oven. It felt like an authentic moment in the life of the town. This image is a finalist in the food category, 